Peace and welcome to Earth Crowns. Uh, today I want to do an instructional tutorial, so I'm actually going to be doing some head wrapping um, on this um, particular head wrap, um, this crown that I did, um, and it was called just zebra print. Um, it has some red in it, so um, you'll see um, when I when I make it. Um, I can't, I also wanted to start today to speak about. I posted up an article. On the um, Earth Crowns page, and um, it was a very interesting article. It is on head wrapping, and it's about um, the the how head wrapping took place in the slave plantations. Obviously, um, that is a part of our history as um, women of color, as original women, that needs to be um, studied and needs to be considered when we are engaging in this cultural practice, right? If you are going to head wrap, then you should know, um, have an overview, a kind of like a general idea of, you know, head wrapping in every sense of the word. So this particular article was very, very interesting um, because it, it was talking about how um, head wrapping occurred and that it was uh, thrust upon the slave women um, by the slave masters to denote their status in the in the plantation. Um, now, uh, it, it, it rose up very interesting conversation, um, and I am in total agreement with, uh, my sisters when they say that this is not, um, it's, it, that head wrapping did not originate in the plantation. It, this is something that is much, much earlier than what we think it is. Um, original women have been practicing this since the beginning of time. Um, and I kind of spoke about that in a previous video when I discussed uh, Nubia, when I discussed um, Egypt, and um, and when we really study the, um, uh, you know, I guess the earlier times of our people, we will see that our people um, didn't deal with religion. Our people, what 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 is known as philosophical ideas, right? Um, the art of questioning, the art of um, being introspective, all these things for which Greece take credit for. With all these, right? You have Aristotle, Plato, with all these philosophers, it's actually um, ideas and the way of life that was coming out of Egypt, that was coming out of Nubia in our earlier times of existence. Now, of course, you have the so-called Latin American part, counterpart to that. There's tons of philosophical ideas that were also being uprooted, that were also coming from um, ancient land. You know, I'm calling it Latin America so that people understand its modern context, um, but from ancient Latin America as well. You find um, the pyramid structures in Latin America just as you find in Africa. So, you know, with this information, women have been head wrapping. This is not something that originated in the slave plantation, but it is important for us to know so that we understand just one other aspect of this. How did the enslaved body carry wear head wrapping? And um, what was the significance? So the, it's a very short read and it touches upon all these topics. Um, and so, you know, with that, you know, this idea before these religions pop out and, you know, you start to have, you know, have to, right? Because these texts, they dictate what we're supposed to be wearing. So women are covering, they're being, you know, what, what in modern day we're calling modesty, right? We're getting covered up because a text says so. Now, I love the texts. I love finding these things and having discussions with women like I did, right? I mentioned in a previous video about having a conversation with my mother, right? About, um, about uh, head wrapping, about crowning, because it was, right, it's something that they look negatively upon, which I will discuss in a later time, because that's more directly related to our immediate history, and it's very race-related as well. Um, and so, you know, with, this, with these ideas, you know, with, with these philosophical ideas, before you have organized religion, you know, you have Tahuti in, in Egypt, and his universal laws, right, which then get which, which get taken um, by the Greeks, and they devise their own 
um, based on these. But Tahuti spoke about the law of gender and the duality between uh, the manifestation of man and woman and what, what this entails in our whole reality as human beings, as universal beings, because we are, we, we, we can't talk about the planet Earth without, without talking about its its existence within the universe and the universe and its relation to the the woman and the man and so with these ideas um we we've we've always known you also have the Taoist concepts of yin and yang so it's also talking about this duality the sufis spoke about this right in pre-islamic times in regards to you know women being more concerned with worldly things whereas, uh, whereas man is being more con it's being it's being associated more with the mind aspect and this is because as um the nation of God and earth, peace to the gods and the earth, um, when we just say it outright, we say man is God and woman is earth. So man is the creator and woman is the embodiment of creation. This makes total sense why, you know, you, you have these philosoph these old ideas, but we're saying it in a modern context. This is not new. This has always been there and will always will be there. So ideas, right, cannot just stay into ideas. So you have to apply them into your culture. And this is what our people have been doing since earlier times. Women knowing or not knowing their nature, um, dressed in accordance to. If the original woman is the embodiment of creation, right, if she's symbolic to the planet Earth, then how do we then start to apply these ideas into living, into our living reality? And so this is where you get the concepts of head wrapping. And you find this in all cultures. You just have to trace it back. And um, what I try to do is always rid myself of whatever mysterious concepts are there. Not, um, obviously, not um, in any way looking down upon people that do bear witness to a higher reality um, that, you, that is um, governing who we are, governing our existence. Um, but the way that I'm dealing with it is more an actual application of it. So, um, you know, with this, I, I wanted to kind of talk about this because I want to give you more of a perspective of why it is that I rap, why it is that I, um, do, um, earth crowns and, um, uh, again, philosophy aside, um, you know, uh, it's just a wonderful experience once you embark on covering and becoming creative and letting that aspect of yourself um you know just come out and be exposed um and so with that i'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, materials that i'm going to be using to make the zebra zebra print um crown um and so i am using um two scarves and um i'm using uh this flower that um uh, I got from Hawaii, uh, a friend of mine went to Hawaii um, and brought back this, uh, you know, Hawaiian, um, it's, it's you know, a flower. But I'm going to be using this rectangular scarf, it's is very, um, it's very malleable. Um, and this is the flower that I'm talking about, okay? And I am going to be using the star of the crown is the zebra print. Okay, it's an animal print. Now, you've seen me use animal print before, the leopard print, but now I'm going to be using this uh, beautiful uh, zebra print. I like to wear this because of its colors. I like to wear this in the uh, winter time. If you notice, um, I have the cap on. It's a rainy day today here in New York City, so I'm wearing the black today. Um, it's kind of pretty cold, too. Um, and I didn't stuff, if you notice, I did not stuff the um, the cap, the volumizer, with anything today. Because when I originally made this wrap, um, this crown, it didn't, um, it didn't have that. I was actually wearing the white cap that you saw in the volume tutorial. Um, and so that's why I'm replicating in the same exact manner. It was was um, a hot day and I didn't want the extra volume and so that's you know that's why I'm wearing this um, so I'm gonna start and um, this is I'm using this scarf first it's interesting right I usually use the last um, the star of the crown last but I'm gonna be using this one first today um, and I am going to fold this scarf about uh, a third of the way 
okay? So there is some uh, folding involved in this. Um, because it's because I'm not using too much volume, then I have to fold it um, to get the results that I want. Okay, so I am going to put this here and I'm going to make sure that the tails are the same length. Okay, now I've also got to make sure that it's being covered correctly in the back where I have enough coverage in the back. You don't want to have too much space in the back. All right, so the, the tails are matching. And this time, I am going to, um, I am, excuse me, this time I am going to um, tie it in the back, okay? Okay, so here we go, and it's going to go ahead and tie this. It's taking me a little bit because I kind of, um, I was doing it a bit wrong. Okay, so I tied it in the back. I'll show you the back. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to be tied. And I'm going to bring uh, this one up first. The It's my right, but it's your left, okay? I'm going to be bringing it up. Um, I'm going to kind of fold it a little bit here, you know, so that the it could be nice and organized, nice and tucked in when I bring it up. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up like this. And you're, you're not putting it in the frontal scap area. You're putting it kind of where in the middle between where it forms the volume and your head okay and you just find a place to tuck in the fringes in the back there all right and see this is showing a little bit so I'm just gonna tuck this into right there now right I have I have this tail I'm gonna move this in now I have this tail here I'm gonna use it later what I want to do now is use the red um, scarf that I have. And I'm also going to fold it. Just, you know, it's very, if you notice, look, it's very, it's kind of see-through. And it has lines. Um, so I'm going to fold it because my goal is to place it here. And I'm actually not placing it like this. I'm placing it like this, okay? And I'm just going to um, bring it around, okay? And I'm going to bring it this way. All right. Make sure your tail has space and it's open. Okay. And I'm just going to keep bringing it in until the tails are short enough that you can tuck them in to, okay, to the wrap. Into the wrap somehow. So I'm going to tuck this in here. Even if it comes out a little bit, it's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this part up here, okay? I know the fringes are showing a little bit, which is fine because you'll keep playing around with it so that you can tuck in the fringes. These fringes are pretty cool, so if some of it is showing, it's actually fine. But if you're the type that you don't want any of the, you know, red fringe to show, um... Then you just keep tucking and tucking until you get it. Um, but if you notice, um, if you don't have these types of scarves, you can use any thin sash, any thin scarf that you have. Okay? Now, I am going to start manipulating this tail here. And I'm going to, again, organize it, right? I'm going to fold it in. Okay, I'm going to fold it in, right? Fold this in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up in a diagonal manner. Okay, so I'm bringing this up like this. Now, as I'm bringing it up, I'm already starting to notice that it's not as um, or like folded as I wanted it to be. So I'm going to do this again 
okay see now it's much better it's nice and folded that's how I want it to have that kind of effect like that and I'm gonna tie this I'm gonna tuck this in somewhere in the back here okay All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of play with the red now so that I could bring some of it more up here okay and the last thing I am going to do is get the flower my Hawaiian flower there's a name for this but I forget and I am going to put it right here I want it to I'm, I'm clipping it onto the red scarf okay and to end this I have these beautiful Tibetan made earrings that um, I got here in New York I was just walking around one time um, and this vendor was selling them um, very interesting story um, but uh, these are beautiful and these go in really well with the scarf um, excuse me with the crown um, so now I'm just gonna bring this in a little bit more right I want that effect that diagonal effect and I'm gonna get the mirror I forgot the mirror but I'm gonna be right back so that I can now look at my entire wrap and see what needs to be changed or if you know there's a lot of things going on in the back that I wasn't aware of okay all right so I'm back so I'm just going to look look with the mirror and see. All right. So it's actually great. Um, it looks great. Um, so I'm going to just turn around one last time without me having to look at myself in the mirror so that you can get an idea. All right, well, thank you for joining me today. And um, if you have any questions about this, the zebra print crown, just let me know. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, and peace. Have a great day.